Okay, here's the today we're gonna do the development length of the bar. We have the development length <coughs> LD or the end hook of reinforcement bars. Uh, note number one: if the bars are straight, multiply by modification factor of 1.3. LD shall not be shall not be less than eight times the diameter of the bar, nor less than 115 millimeter. We have an example here uh, to solve problems. Determine the development length or embedment length of the bar LD required for the bars of the beam shown in the figure. Uh, top bars are 6, 28 millimeter diameter. Assume all concrete covers to be 65 millimeter. Uh, specifications for concrete strength is 28 MPA and FY for steel is uh, 400 MPA. EB is the area of one bar and if I specified strength of steel if C is a specified compressive strength of concrete. <coughs> the conditions are 1, 2, and 3. If the bars are straight, okay, solve for the development length of the bar. Number 2, 180 degrees hook is used. If 90 degrees hook is used as well. So this solution number one for straight bar. Uh, straight bar. <coughs> the formula for straight bar LD is development length is 0 0.2, 0 0.02 area of the bar times Fy, the, uh, the strength of steel divided by the strength of square root of concrete. So here's the beam, here's the 628 millimeter diameter, and there's the LD right there. Okay, area of the bar is pi D squared over 4, uh, 28. The diameter is 28, the square that divided by 4 we get 615.75 millimeter square. Substitute this value to the formula for LD, we get 0 0.02 times 615.75 uh, <coughs> times 400 times. Since this is a straight bar, <coughs> we need to multiply it by 1.3, the modification factor. As, as stated here, 1.3 modification factor right there. <coughs> now 1.3 it gives you LD equal to 1210.55. Round it off to 12.11 millimeter. Now the second uh, calculation for LD for straight bar is LD point uh, point 0.375 diameter of the bar. If y divided by square root of fc prime. This time now we use the diameter, just the diameter of the bar. <coughs> the first calculation we use the area of the bar. Here is the diameter of the bar. Uh, see what happens. Substitute the value of area of the uh, diameter of the bar is 0 0.375 times 28 diameter of the bar, 400 steel divided by square root of 28 concrete LD is equal to 793.95 millimeter it is less than the 1211 millimeter the previous calculation therefore for safety reason you gotta use the larger uh, development length for street bars so we use 1211 uh, millimeter that's for straight bar. Number two, 180 degrees hook is used. Solution number two, if 180 degrees hook is used, the formula for 180 degrees hook, LD is equal to 100, the diameter of the bar divided by the square root of concrete. 
So 100 times 28 diameter of the bar divided by the square root of 28 MPA for concrete gives you LD is called 529.3. I run it off to 530 uh, millimeter. Now using that LD is the LD there. You have to calculate the whole LD. Should not be less than eight times the diameter of the bar or 115 millimeter or 224 or 115 millimeter LD is equal to LD the first LD you calculate for the hook 180 degrees hook um, LD times FY the LD we calculated is 130 um, millimeter so substitute that value I rounded it off uh, 530 times 400 divided by 415 we get the development length LD for the 180 degrees hook 510 millimeter. So use LD 510 millimeter. The LD right here, that's the 510 uh, millimeter. Now there's a calculation for the radius of this this hook here, the 180 degrees hook. The calculation is right here. The formula is the radius of the 180 degrees hook is 5 times diameter of the bar it gives you 140 uh, millimeter 5 times diameter 28 so 140 millimeter and now the extension from the radius of the uh, 180 degrees so this part here the calculation for that is is uh, four times the diameter of the bar it's equal to 112 millimeter this one is 112 millimeter and this distance here the radius is the radius of the 180 degrees hook 180 140 millimeter so that's the uh, <clears throat> calculation for the the 180 degrees hook we use 510 millimeter LD right there and then we calculate the radius and the uh, extension from the radius of the 180 degrees hook now number three uh, <clears throat> Number three, if 90 degrees hook is used, <coughs> the almost the same formula for the 180 degrees hook, LD equals to 100 times the diameter of the bar divided by the square root of the strength of concrete. 100 times substitute the diameter of the bar, 28, uh, divided by the square root of 28 gives you 529, the same as the uh, 180 degrees hook, I routed it off to 530, multiplied by 400, and multiplied by the reduction factor of 0.7, divided by 415. And it gives you LD is 357.59, say, routed it off to 360 millimeter. Use LD for uh, 90 degrees hook. 90 degrees bent, 360 uh, millimeter. The LD there is 360 millimeter, and the length for the development length of the 90 degrees bent is 12 times the diameter of the bar. It gives you 300. This length here is 360 uh, millimeter. So that's the uh, that is the calculation for the development length of the bar. And there is a note here for the number 35 bar. This is pretty large in diameter. Any number of bar is divisible by eight. So this 35 divided by eight. This is a pretty pretty large diameter of the bar. Uh, bar of smaller 
for still in tension. This is also the, the formula to be used when you exceed when you when you are in the range of 35 uh, number 35 bar or or smaller. Okay, this is the formula as well to be used there. Alright, so that's the end of the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.